spring officially upon us, so too is the time to go outside, revive the garden, the backyard, and the outdoor space. Gardening and outdoor expert Jim Carlton joins us now to talk about the latest and greatest in gardening for 2023. Jim, thanks so much for taking time to talk with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so what are the latest trends in colors when it comes to gardening this season? Yeah, um, the trends this season for color, the unconventional blues, uh, robin's egg blue, uh, teal, even lavender is really big. Um, the pinks are, are big this season. Everything from bold fiery magenta to the soft pastel pinks. Um, and then a couple of outlier colors, blood orange and teal, are uh, are also popular um and uh the palette it, it ends up that the palette's quite wide and you know any garden is going to benefit from a pop of color yeah definitely i think we're ready for that pop of color too <laughs> so in regard to the plants the flowers and trees this season what do you think is going to be popular um you know it, it it's this is the season of water wise planting right people are zero escaping that is, they're using local species of plants to be sure that they use the right amount of water and and tolerate the heat. Um, and, and that's a that's a big thing for, for anywhere, uh, you know, Charleston and, and beyond. Mm -hmm. What are some ways that we can make the most of our gardening space? You know, um, I think people first, you know, people want to start small. You don't want to start too big. If, you, if you're taking on a giant project, it, it really kind of becomes overwhelming. And so you start small, a raised planter bed, a couple of pots on a patio, um, that, that kind of thing. And then um, you want to make sure that you vary it, right? You don't want to use one plant or one vegetable. You want to have a wide variety of flower type. It, it, and that, that really pays off um, both in what you have, uh, you know, what you collect for vegetables and what you get in flowers. Mm -hmm. And some of these projects can be time consuming if we do try to do too much at once. What is the latest in time saving devices when it comes to maintaining our outdoor space? Well, we have a couple of robots this season, right? Um, we have, uh, first off, we have the turtle robot. Uh, that's T-E-R-T-I-L-L, -L, and that goes around and weeds your garden and your your that that area. And then we have uh, a robot by Dandy Technology that really it, it it's the first lawn weeding robot of its kind, and it takes uh, it cruises your lawn and takes a predetermined route and sprays a small amount of herbicide on the weeds that it sees. Uh, you can even choose to use an all organic herbicide making it really safe for you, your family, and your pets. Mm -hmm. Some garden robots, I never would have thought. <laughs> so where can we go if we want to find out more about the items that you mentioned and get some more great ideas like this? Just go to dandytechnology.com. That's D-A-N-D-Y technology.com. Jim, great talking with you. Thanks for joining us on Studio 3. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> so it's hard to imagine a robot that can help you with your gardening. Well, I'm saying, and I'm like, I, I feel like that's part of the fun of it. You know what yeah. I mean? Is getting your hands dirty yeah. and getting in there, exactly. and you, you have such a big part uh -huh. of knowing that you've grown your own food. Right. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of. I mean, it's not, I'm sure it's right. convenient. Kind of like the Roomba indoor vacuum cleaners. They help, um, you know, get some of those. Right as boring chores out of the way. But like you said, gardening is not necessarily a boring chore. I used to, one. well, as a kid, I used to love, my parents always did a really big garden at our house. And, you know, my mom, she was like, I can remember you would put on your boots. She said, and you'd come, you'd have mismatched boots on, but you're like, I'm going to help. And uh -huh. I, I've got so many pictures. I always loved, um, my dad would grow cabbages. And I'd always look for the biggest one. And I'd always oh, take a picture, yeah. you know, and I'm like trying to hold it. because. Right big heads of cabbage but yes. I don't know I just I think growing up as a kid it was like it was fun it. yeah and it, that was just kind of the lifestyle was yeah. watching my parents and my grandmother garden and then can and I don't know yeah. I just it was Yes, I don't know if there'll be too many takers on the robot uh, for the yard, but he gave Maybe. lots of great tips on colors and what types of uh, plants are going to be popular this season. He's that blood orange and teal, mm -hmm. I which like I love it. those colors. Yeah. Um, they're very vibrant and very yeah. springy. I do like that. So get to plant and have fun. Yeah.